more people are turning their side hustle into a business. But you need more than a good idea to be successful. We're not talking about having an actual MBA. Yeah, our next guest says you need to think like a million dollar founder. She's sharing the mindsets that helped turn her side hustle into a seven figure business, which is always nice to hear. Right. Lisa Collum, thanks for being with us this afternoon. It's nice to have you back. Yes, thanks for having me. So right before we get to your tips, share how you grew your idea into a business. Yeah, so it started when I was teaching about 18 years ago, and I right away noticed that there was no curriculum specifically for writing. So there was a curriculum for reading and math, but nothing for writing. So I saw a need, and after years of teaching, created a product, and then from there, just started sharing it, and teachers share with teachers, and then 10 years later, I'm a nationwide company. Love it. All right. So you say that people can find success by shifting their mindset. And one of the ways to do that is stop thinking you just don't look like the traditional business person. How does that really make a difference? Yeah, the thing is, is like society and books and what we hear make us think that we have to have a business degree or business experience. And that's not the truth. We can totally do this on our own. I'm a 100% educator. I have a master's degree in education. Business was not any of my, my dream path or future, but I was able to do it and figure it out along the way. Well, so some of our viewers might be hoping to start something new on their own. There's a new year right around the corner, but I feel like there's a lack of time holding them back because we're all busy. So how do people who are busy, especially parents, shift into a place where this is even a possibility? Yeah, so time management is crucial. Um, I'm big on scheduling, I'm prioritizing, delegating, but it's really thinking about those small pockets of time. You know, we might be scrolling on TikTok or watching a movie or TV, thinking about those small pockets of time and then also making the most of our time. So people may say, I can't afford a nanny all day or daycare all day, but just two hours of dedicated work time where you're solely focused without kids and being able to work is you know, so you can get so much more done than eight hours with kids running around. Mm -hmm. Well, we know that some people may get stuck along the way. They have this great idea, but they don't know how to really turn that into something in the real world. So how do you get over that hurdle? You got to accept that you're not going to know everything from the beginning, and that's okay. You don't have to have the perfect business plan because things are going to change anyway. You've got to give your, yourself permission just to accept where you are and what you know. I started making three ring binders on my living room floor, and now I have a print shop and a shipping center. So start where you are and then build from there. Wow. That's cool to hear, right? right? <laughs> well, so small business and side hustles, they can be a lonely job. I'm sure that you've known that over the years. How do you keep going when friends and family are not exactly in your corner? Yeah, when, when you enter business on your own, you're basically in forced personal growth. Mm -hmm. And that's just the point where you've got to ignore other people's opinions. And just whether it's family, friends, you've just got to keep moving. Um, you, you've got to ignore what they say. Find groups, business groups, um, business people, different meetups that you can, you know, work and talk with other people and kind of get your own little cheer squad going because everyone's not going to see your vision and that's okay. Right. That's I think that's great thing. advice. Yeah. I, I we, we get a lot of advice and that is, that's great advice. Advice, Everyone you know? doesn't see your vision until they actually see it. All right, so what would you say to actually a mom or someone out there watching that is dreaming about starting their own business? Yeah. This is so much more than, than making money. This is creating something for yourself. You know, when you start that business or that side hustle, you're finding a piece of yourself again and creating something for you. And it's so much more powerful than, you know, just making money as a business owner. No question about that. Lisa, thanks so much for joining us again. Nice to see you. Yes, thank you so much. All right. For more advice and inspiration, you can follow Lisa on Instagram at Lisa Column CEO.